guess I went on my first trip in 1999, and uh, Kendall was a childhood friend of mine, and um, I've old, my parents were big volunteers, so I grew up volunteering. You know, I was a candy striper in the sixth grade or something like that. Uh, and I went on my first Austin Smell trip, and I was just hooked. I mean, it was like, I couldn't think of another way to help someone, you know, and that was more more organized or just more effective than, you know, Austin Smells looks at, you know, what's wrong with the patient. Can they breathe? Can they swallow? Can they eat? You know, can they hear? And it's not all about cosmetics. It's about, you know, daily functions that most of us take for granted. And to, to give that back to someone in a two and a half hour operation is life changing for us and for them. And why would you not want to support that? Um, the people are wonderful on all the countries that we go to and we have great relationships. We have longevity and because we repeatedly, repeatedly go to the same countries. Um, we come back every year and a lot of our surgeons come back to the same place every year. Mm -hmm.